Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure jpx 7.4 with MySQL as the database on Ubuntu 24.04. First open a new web browser, then go to jpx official website that is jpx.com. See here, the latest release is 7.4. Click on download or get jpx, both are same. Click on it, then go to jpx packages, then Choose your platform. See, latest version 7.4. Select OS distribution version Ubuntu and see here we have the version from 16 to 24. See, this is Ubuntu 24.04. So, select the OS version. Then select the JPEX components. Then select the database. I am using MySQL. I have already installed MySQL. If you want to install MySQL, you can check for my YouTube channel how to install MySQL server 8.0.42 for this. Okay. Next, web server. See here we have two options Apache or Nginx. I am using Apache web server. So verify whether these prerequisites are installed or not. Open terminal MySQL hyphen u root hyphen p provide provide the password. See I have installed MySQL server 8.0.42. Exit. Also verify the Apache web server installed or not. Sudo system CTL status Apache 2. See Apache web server is not installed so install it sudo apt install Apache 2. Type for confirmation and hit end. See we have successfully installed Apache web server. Now scroll down step 2 first see here we have different steps okay so become the root user sudo hyphen s then install the zebix repository so copy this command first it will download the dot debian package paste it hit enter then install it by using deep dpkg so copy this command paste it it is done now update the packages apt update hit enter it is run control a now install jpx server front end and agent by, by copying this command Type pay for confirmation, hit enter. We have successfully installed. Now, step B create the initial database. See here, first we have to connect to MySQL server, then this command will create the database then this will create the user and this command will grant the privileges on this database to this user then this will set the global value this parameter value will be set to one okay so connect to mysql and execute these commands one by one so copy first one mysql hyphen u root hyphen p paste it hit enter database is created create the user see here i am giving password as password but if you want to give some other just remove this password in the single quotes then provide your own password All done, quit, control A. Now import initial schema and data. So copy this command. Paste it, hit enter. Provide the password of JPX user. That is, see whatever the password here we have given that we have to give. So hit enter. This will take one or two minutes. See. 
import is completed now connect to mysql server and disable this exit control a now we have to configure the database for jvik server so go to this jvik server configuration file vi or use that editor that you are familiar with then paste the file name with the entire path hit enter go to the db password see here we have the db password remove the hash then shift a provide the password see this is the password of this jbx user okay save the file now we have to start server and agent processes so copy this command paste it hit enter is done now enable tenta it is done control a now open jvx web page so so this is the default one so copy it see here we have to give host name or ip address or local host or low back ip so first get the host name host sorry this type of host see this is the host name up24 http colon forward slash up24 vm http forward slash vp24 vm then jvx hit enter See, we got the welcome page. Welcome to Jvik 7.4, and we have to select the language. I'm okay with the default one, but if fonts in one of these languages, you can select. Then click on next step. See, check for presets. All are green. Okay. Then click on next step. Select the database MySQL. MySQL is installed on this one, so localhost is fine. Then. Port number for the MySQL is double three zero six. Database is JVX. User also same. Then, then provide the password. Or you have these options: plain text, hashicorp word, cyberarp word. Okay. Here we have to pass provide the password of this JVX user. So provide whatever the password you have given for this JVX user. Then click on next step. JVX server is installed on this one. Local host. Or you can give the host name. this one okay so remaining options i am going with defaults like default time zone and all then click on next step see this is a pre installation summary for okay with all the settings then click on next step say congratulations you have successfully installed jbix front end and this is the configuration file okay then click on finish now we have to login username is admin this is case sensitive and password is small Letters of JBX. I will keep this username and password in the video description. Then click on Sign In. Now come. See here we have installed JBX Server version seven dot four dot zero. Okay. And see here in left side we have dashboards, monitoring services, inventory reports, data, data collection, alerts, users, and administration. You can go through the documentation and you can practice. Go to users. Again users. See here. This is the default user. Okay, if you want to change the password of this user, just you have to click on and click on change password. Then you have to provide current password or new password. Then you have to click on update. And if you want to create new user, click on create user. Then you have to fill all these details. Okay, I'm not going to create. Then last option. Then as I told you, you can also connect by using local host. Local host forward slash jvx. Hit enter. So you got the login page. Then you have to provide the password. The same way you can give loopback at one twenty seven dot zero dot zero dot one. Jbix. 
So you got the same page. Just you have to give admin. Provide the password of this username. Click on sign in. Not now. See, we have successfully connected. The last step I want to show you is go to terminal sudo system ctl stop apache 2 sudo system ctl status apache 2 see apache web service stop reload this page see you are unable to connect okay so apache server must be up and running so control l start it again Start it now. Reload this one. Uh, here also reload this one. See to connect to JBX, the Apache server must be up and running. Okay. So, in this video, we have seen how to install and configure JBX server 7.4 with MySQL as database on Ubuntu 24.04. Okay, for more tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.